Sean Salisbury here for Open Sports. Let's take a look at this first playoff game, Atlanta going to Arizona. Well, Arizona did everything Atlanta was supposed to do, and Atlanta didn't do the things that we expected them to do. Matt Ryan started off slow and then got hot up until halftime and then came out and struggled some in the second half and then got pretty good and hot at the end of the football game, but there wasn't enough time left. Turnovers by Atlanta killed them, protecting the football by Arizona. Arizona ran the football. Nobody thought not only did would they commit to the run because they haven't committed to the run all year long, but it was Edger and James they committed to, who at a point this year was lost his job and doesn't want to be in Arizona. He even said it. But now, after this, the, the game against Atlanta, they ran the ball. They gave Atlanta different looks so Atlanta couldn't key, and they didn't get after the quarterback. If you allow Kurt Warner to sit back and deliver the ball, they're going to make big plays. The man coverage, Lawyer Malloy on Anquan Bolden, Lawyer Malloy can't cover Anquan Bolden, period. Okay? I said in the pregame when we were talking about this in my preview of this game that you've got to get to the quarterback, can't let Kurt Warner deliver it if you're Atlanta. But the other side of it is if you're going to blitz, you better get there because man coverage won't work because you can't cover Bolden and you can't cover Breast and you can't cover Fitzgerald man-to-man. -man. And when you play zone, you better get pressure with four. They didn't do it. And Kurt Warner did a good job delivering the ball. Larry Fitzgerald makes a big, big touchdown catch. But it was the run game that offset Atlanta. And the other side, Atlanta did not run the ball well. They didn't run the football well. And Matt Ryan, like I said, did some good and did some things that, that were rookie-like and then played good again. But they put themselves in a hole with turnovers, and they didn't do what they do. And what they do is make some big plays and run the football Atlanta. Arizona did that. And Arizona did a good job of it. And then with four minutes to go in the game, four minutes and ten seconds, Arizona in the four-minute drill had to control the clock, and they did. Mix in a little bit of run, make some great throws, and Keith Brooking, who's been a veteran, and I love him in this league for a long time, and the two inside linebackers, decide to jump an underneath route on third and 16 and get the tight end right over the top for a big completion. You just can't do it. It's a, it's, it's a boneheaded move, and, it, and it, it was typical of some of the mistakes Atlanta made in this football game. Arizona gets their first home playoff win in a million years, but a great job by Ken Wisenhunt. They came out, and you know what? One thing we're not talking about is Arizona's defense. They've been pushed around a lot this year. Their defensive coordinator, Clancy Pendergast, had a great plan. They got after Matt Ryan, mixed in a safety, pressured him all day, and then stopped the run. So on their run blitz, they stopped it. When they were playing zone, they stopped it. An outstanding job by Arizona. If they play like this, they'll give their next opponent all the trouble in the world when they, when they line up and play football. That will be the key for them, is lining up and playing physical football next week. But that being said, got to give Arizona's defense credit because Michael Turner never got off today, never got going in the football game, and Matt Ryan did not have that. They needed to be two-dimensional, and they were not two-dimensional in the football game. Great credit to Arizona for the way they played. Kurt Warner was a veteran, as he always is, and had a wonderful game, as he's had a wonderful season, and he managed it right and made the throws when they were there. And congratulations to Ken Wisenhunt, the head coach of Arizona and the Arizona organization, is Arizona took on the personality of their head coach, tough, hard-nosed Ken Wisenhunt. And for a team that struggled so much in the month of December in the last part of the season, Arizona got some respect back because I think a lot of us looked at him and kind of snickered saying Arizona's got no shot. Well, Arizona proved something, and they did it by playing physical, and they did it by being efficient and mixed the run back in. This is going to give next week's opponent a very difficult, difficult task if Arizona can do both. I'm Sean Salisbury. This is Open Sports. Congratulations to Arizona. Congratulations to Atlanta on a good season. I don't think any of us thought it was going to end today, though.